Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and another Polish Pickup Wishlist With Me video. This is for the month of October and the theme is Sidekicks. Now if this is your first wishlist video with me, what I do is I just open up in a bajillion tabs at the top here, every nail polish that's going to be on sale for the month of October for Polish Pickup. Uh, and then we just go through them, talk about them. I talk about my thoughts and whether I'm going to wishlist it or not. And then I eventually have to pare down that wishlist because usually they're like 30 polishes and that is a lot. So this Polish Pickup is going live on the 7th, I believe. And it starts at, I think, 11 a.m. And that's when the site goes live, but pretty much right up until a couple hours before it goes live, you can add polishes to your wish list. So with all that said, let's get started. So the first polish we have is by 1422 Designs. If it's got wings, I can crash it. So this is inspired by Launchpad McQuack. Darkwing Ducks Sidekick, and it is a red base with red, orange, gold, green, shifting shimmer. And you guys, if you've been here long enough, you know me, I'm not a big reds person, so I will pass. Uh, but if you like red shimmers, this one is right up your alley. Adored Colors Ruben, and if you know me, this is right up my alley. Oh no, this is inspired by Jeff Donum's uh, Jose Jalapeno. I literally want to scream every time I hear the name Jeff Dunham because my boyfriend just talks about him a lot for no reason um, because he knows it annoys me. Uh, this is a blackened olive green base filled with gold to green chameleon glitter and violet pink gold flakes. There are a hundred available. Um, I actually really like this. I'm going to add it to my wish list. It's only $11.50, which is pretty decent pricing, I think. But I don't know. I have a couple that are like this just with like brighter greens. So we may pass. I'm trying to be extra good this month and not go too overboard because when you see my monthly haul, you're going to know why. Alchemy Lacquers, The Herpetologist. This is inspired by Bianca from Red Eyed Lacquer. Oh, that is really pretty. It is a turquoise teal jelly nail lacquer with green, blue, and turquoise glass flakes and red metallic glitter. And um, I guess they are like nail polish besties. That is so pretty. I definitely have a lot that look very similar to this. Either it being like a teal flaky bomb, or I did last month buy a teal like polish with red in it. So I, as much as I want to add this to my wish list, I am going to pass because I know that even though I don't have anything that looks exactly like this, I have a lot that looks so close that a lot of people would not know the difference. All mixed up lacquers, ferociously cringy. Oh no. Um, inspired by Cringer slash Battle Cat. It's He-Man's Companion. I've never actually seen He-Man. This looks like it's a thermal. Yeah, it is a olive green in its cold state to clear in its warm state with orange, red, gold shifting shimmer, red, orange, and gold UCC flakies, and red, pink, orange, gold lime crystal chameleon flakies. So I say this all the time, but if you're new here, I don't purchase thermals intentionally just because my collection is so big that I can't use them enough to truly appreciate them. And while I love thermals, they are so cool. It's just not worth it for me. So I will have to pass, but that is pretty cool. I like the, I like the color more when it's cold than when it's warm. I, the only time I really like a thermal that goes clear is if the thermal is black or really dark in its cold state. So you can do like peekaboo manis. Anchor and Heart Lacquer, I choose Sandwich, inspired by Jake the Dog from Adventure Time and his enduring love for sandwiches. I love Adventure Time. It's such a great show. It's a muted dark purple crelly with twinkling gold micro flakes throughout and yellow, white, and black glitter in medium and small sizes. This is, it looks like a pretty Halloween-y polish. You wouldn't get this until probably either like with days to spare or right after Halloween. So don't, I wouldn't get this with this Halloween in mind, but it is really pretty. I know I've got stuff that's similar to it. 
Also, just like a fun fact about Adventure Time, if you didn't know, I think a lot of people do know this, but Jake's girlfriend, Lady Rainicorn, she speaks Korean, and I remember the first time I was watching the show with my boyfriend, he just started laughing when she was talking, because apparently she says some dirty stuff. Hard as nails, Destiny. This is pretty. Inspired by the character Destiny from Finding Glory. I don't know what that is. It is a pale blue shimmer effect with a strong pink to gold glow. This is kind of my kind of color. I love a like very tame color with just a crazy shimmer running through it. So I already have a lot like this and I'm trying to be good this month. So mm, do I, I, I kind of want to put it on my wish list. Do I? This picture is getting me in the upper left-hand corner. Mm, no, I'm not going to do it. I got to be strong. Atomic Polish Sailor Saturn. Okay. I love this. <laughs> Inspired by one of my favorite Sailor Scouts, Sailor Saturn, but really, who doesn't love a badass Guardian of Destruction? Sailor Saturn is a super glowy polish. It has a neon purple base. Yeah, girl, we can see that with aqua to blue shifting pigment and gold to red shifting aurora uh aurora flakes opaque in two to three coats depending on application this is very pretty and again because i love this kind of polish i have a lot of them so i i think i have this minus the flakes like 10 times over so i don't need this do you hear how hard it is for me to say that? I don't need this. So I'm going to pass, but I do want it. Ooh, what is this? Baron is X, sequins and bubbly. Okay, this is very, like, in your face. This is, like, so New Year's for me, right? Uh, inspired by Eddie from Absolutely Fabulous, a lover of sequins and Bollinger bubbly. Sequins and Bubbly is a reflective glitter polish with black gold, green, blue, and purple reflective glitter and hollow pigment. Ooh, I do want more fun black polishes in my collection. And guys, reflective glitter is kind of growing on me. <laughs> now that I feel like it's not in everything so much, I'm like, okay, I can like it now. I don't know. I'm going to add this to my wish list and think about it. I don't know if I'm going to do it. Because I think I only want to get two this month at the most. Maybe three. So it might not make... It probably won't make the cup, but we'll see. Oh, what the heck? BCB Lacquers. See, you missed your mock window. Okay, inspired by Shigo, Dr. Draken's sidekick from Kim Possible. We all know Shigo was, like, the hottest girl uh, in cartoon television. So that's a plus for this. It's an emerald jelly with lime iridescent flakes and the black flakes. Only 300 are available. This is going on my wish list. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. BKLs, you're my best man. Okay, yeah, this is definitely what we do in the shadows. Uh, yep, inspired by our favorite vampire familiar, Guillermo de la Cruz. I love the actor who plays Guillermo. He is a cutie pie. And this is a deep red base with gold to green to blue shimmer and ruby red light reflective glitter. There is no cap. It's pretty, but even from BKL, I just don't want a red. Can you believe it? Um, I love the inspiration, though. I love what we do in the shadows. It's so good. Black Dahlia Lacquer, Gimme Shelter, and Ode to Mary Clayton. Um, so it's inspired by Mary Clayton, who contributed to the vocals of the Rolling Stones mega hit, Gimme Shelter. She's got a pretty extensive career. It's listed through here. Uh, it is a blood red jelly with hollow flakies, black and red metallic flakies, black to red shifting flakes, and red reflective glitter. This would be my greatest nightmare to remove. Um, because I just, my brain stops functioning when I remove reds and it's a reflective glitter, which gets just everywhere when I do that. So hard pass for me, but it is pretty. Bluebird Lacquers, Can I Kick It? And this is inspired by a rad Suzuki sidekick. Uh, it is a shattered hollow with a pink gold shimmer and turquoise metallic flakes. Um, 300 are available. I feel like a lot of the polishes I see Bluebird doing are these kind of like 
they have like these metallic-y foily bits running through it and it kind of reminds me of a candy wrapper and it just makes me hungry i don't like this pinker tone looking this icy so i'm going to pass but it is pretty by danny vienna warm hugs needed okay this is this one made me laugh when i saw it on the facebook group this is inspired by olaf from frozen and i this is just in my past videos, I have said this before, that Danny Vienna takes inspiration and makes polishes where you don't even need to know the inspiration to know what it was inspired by. She's just so good at capturing that. And this is just a prime example because I look at this and I immediately thought of Olaf from Frozen. Like, I want to fight Olaf. Like, I would challenge him to a hand-to-hand -hand duel because he just annoys me. But I love how accurate this polish is. It's a sheer white crelly base packed with clear holographic glitters, black irregular glitter, and orange triangle glitters. And there are 400 available. This, even I think it's cute. And like, I don't like white polishes that much, and I don't like Olaf that much. So Danny Vienna has done it again. I'm not going to buy it because I know I wouldn't wear it, but it is so good. Vanessa Molina, Mike Wazowski. Oh man, inspired by Monsters, Inc. Mike Wazowski has a multi-chrome magnetic base with vivid green gold Aurora shimmer and reflective glitter. There are 550 available. This is pretty, but I have recently bought a ton of green based magnetics, so I don't need another one. I need other colored magnetics for once in my life, but very pretty, very cool, and I love Mike Wazowski. Monsters, Inc. is such a good movie. Cadillacer Watson. Okay, I bought the Cadillacer last month, and it looked kind of similar. It was also like a gray base with black flakies in it, so I'm not gonna add this to my wish list, but just, I do love it. It's so pretty. It's inspired by John Watson, uh, Sherlock Holmes' sidekick. These flakes just look so fiery. It's a gray Crelly with small black to red shifting flakes and bigger copper, orange, purple, pink iridescent flakes. And, you know, it does look, I feel like it's distinctly different from the one that I got in September's Polish Pickup, especially these flakies. They really just make it something unusual and interesting. But, it's similar enough to where I'm like, I just shouldn't. So I'm going to pass, even though I kind of want it. Actually, I'm, no, I'm, I'm going to pass. Hillary, don't do it. Cameo Colors Lacquers War Machine Rocks. Inspired by Iron Man's sidekick, War Machine. It is a super shiny foil flecked black base packed full of scattered hollow uh, scattered hollow sparkle, sorry, red micro flakes and silver hollow micro flakes. This is kind of like, I know it says black. There's a cap of 105, by the way. I know it says it's a black, but to me it reads as like a gun metal, which in my head is like the darkest of grays. I don't, is gun metal technically black? I always thought it was gray. And so I don't love a gun metal color uh, too much just because it looks too industrial for me, whatever that means. I can't explain it. I just know that's what I think it looks like. And so I'm going to pass. Ooh, this is fun. Cattail, two crows. Uh, I felt like Rick replaced Morty with two crows and then becoming invested in crow life. Hilarious. So I guess this is a Rick and Morty reference. I watched season one and then the fans kind of went a little nutso over the sauce, and I was like, all right, I can't do this anymore. Um, this polish is a dark violet with shimmery black, shimmery dark and black flakes, and a dark purple slash blue glow in the dark. The glow is a darker glow. That's a cool, I like the blue glow in the darks. Those are always fun. Um, the purple is too royal for me. I just don't love a royal purple. I don't know what it is. You think that, I feel like that's the most common purple you see in like household objects and stuff like that. I don't, I don't care for it too much. I like a brighter purple, so I'm going to pass, but love that glow. Cleona Cosmetics Pegasus. All right, this is going on the wish list. I'm sorry. Like this is, I, I'm doing that thing that I did with Hollow Taco where I started buying it and I was like, well, I already have everything, so I've got to own all of them. That's what I'm doing with Cleona Cosmetics now. And um, 
it's gonna kill me i can tell uh, this is inspired by pegasus from disney's hercules which now i want to watch because my boyfriend he always wants to watch that movie just because he loves the michael bolton rendition of go the distance at the end so we will literally watch the entire 90 minute movie just so he can hear that song oh see i love this love when they include the inspiration photo it's a teal base with green indigo violet shifting iridescent multi-chrome flakes and shimmer looks like there's no cap oh i like that uh shimmer though i when i can see it right there that's so pretty i definitely 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 have polishes that look like this but i can't help myself color spectrum polish hakuna matata and this is obviously from the lion king it is a brown base with a green to gold multi-chrome magnetic strike gold shimmer and purple glitters 115 are available i like that brown and green that's fun this actually that looks really cool um but again i have so many green multi-chrome or not multi-chromes magnetics right now this purple like flex running through though does look really cool Coloris de carol r2 this is inspired by r2d2 it is a blue and silver reflective glitter and a navy hollow glitter and white glitter there are 450 available i'm not a star wars person i know a lot about it just because all my friends are really into it but i've never watched the movies but i always did like the robots i love r2d2 and c3po and yoda yoda's awesome too uh this definitely though i feel like it does capture with the colors and just the really uh the variety of shapes in here like i don't know it does definitely emulate r2d2 but if you're not a Star Wars fan, this is also like the perfect winter snowy polish. So keep that in mind. Keep that on your on your brain there. And Chloris de Carol does have some really good polishes. Crystal Knockout in Sprite of It All. That's a cute name. Inspired by Sprite from Legend of Zelda cartoon. Okay, this is a thermal. I like this deeper color. That's pretty. It is a purple to white Crelly thermal with matte pink dot glitters, pale pink micro glitters, and iridescent color shifting flakes in pink, aqua, violet, and green. Doesn't look like there's a cap. This is very pretty. And if I was in the habit of buying thermals, I might pick this up. Cupcake polish. We're all mad here. Inspired by the Cheshire Cat. It is a magenta pink filled with blue shimmer or blue to pink Aurora shimmer. And it doesn't look like there's any cap. Um, I think I have a lot, a lot, a lot of pinks like this. I bought a ton of pinks. I, I have so many pinks. I never thought I liked pink. I, I Apparently, I love pink. I love pink so much. So that's really pretty, but I'm going to pass. Cuticula Meowgical. This is inspired by Luna the Cat from Sailor Moon. Meowgical is a dark blurple base full of small hollow flakes and intense orange, green, gold shifting flame. It is no cap. This is quite pretty. I like this shot. I like how they take that photo. Um, but I do have a lot like this, and we're trying to be mindful, Hillary. It's really pretty, though. And Cuticula, I really like their stuff. Dainty Digits Lacquer Bite My Shiny Metal Polish. Definitely a Bender polish. Yeah, inspired by Bender Bending Rodriguez. It is a fog hat gray. I I almost read that as fogot because I've never heard the word fog hat. Hang on a second. I guess that's just the color that Bender is. Yeah, I, I've never heard that. Oh, it literally says it. I If I had just continued to read for three more words, I would have known. It is Bender's official colors, fog hat gray. With reflective pigment and linear hollow, because we extra shiny, 160 are available. This is pretty, and early on in my polish collecting days, I bet you 100 bucks I would have snatched this up, because I loved silver. I loved silver polishes. But I feel like I'm going through this weird stage in my life where now all I would like is gold, which I I don't know if it's just a phase. I hope it is because like 90% of my jewelry is silver. I don't know what's going on, but I, I can't. Not right now, but I do like their logo. Damn Nail Polish King Valkyrie. Inspired by Valkyrie from Thor Love and Thunder. It's a blue base polish with red, orange, gold flakies as well as red and orange shreds. Under bright lights, the light blue reflective glitters come alive. 200 are available. This is very, very cool. 
I like the this blue and, and reddy orange combo lately has been kind of grabbing for me. I, I don't like it though in like like I like the reflective blue. I like that kind of a blue. I don't like this like denim -y blue so much with it. I don't know. I, it's like I I like it here, but then it looks kind of dull in some of the other pictures. So I'm gonna think on it because I do really like this. Danglefoot Nail Polish Besties. Inspired by BFFs, the sidekick you can always rely on. It's a bright pink jelly with silver hollow flakes, micro holographic flakes, and subtle pink lilac shimmer. Each polish comes with a DIY multi-chrome best friends key ring to share with whoever you wish. That's cute. How sweet. It does say, please note this polish may come with a white cap instead of the usual black, and there are only 150 available. I, again, like, I just have so many pinks of this tone that I'm going to pass. I do think it's cute, though, when they, like, include little bonus stuff. So I'm a sucker for add-ons, <laughs> if you couldn't tell. That's cute. I love it. I also love puzzles, so. Dark and Twisted Lacquer Witch's Apprentice. Inspired by a picture of a witch with her apprentice, a dark teal base with flakies and hollow goodness. A hundred are available. I... Just I'm not in the habit of wearing deeper teals like this because, man, do they stain. Everyone's like, do this, do that. This is how you prevent staining with a teal. And I tried everything. I doubled up on base coats. I've tried a variety of base coats. It doesn't work for me. And I don't care too much about staining. But sometimes I'm just like, man, that is, that's a lot to deal with. Because when a polish stains that hard, it is a mess to remove and it gets in my cuticles and stuff like that so i'm gonna pass oh i like their little logo though with all the little nail polish bottles do nail polish talking donkey is this a shrek polish yes it is <laughs> inspired by shrek's sidekick the talking donkey the color resembles donkey's coat that's pretty shimmery brown polish with reflective silver glitter and a silver magnetic pull a brown magnetic Ooh, but it doesn't look like a strong magnetic, and I really only like the super strong ones, unfortunately. So as much as I like the inspo and the idea, I'm going to pass. I love this. Dreamland Lacquer's Illudium Q36 Explosive Space Modulator. Inspired by my mutual sidekick, my ride or die, my little brother. Pictured here in Roswell with his wife, his lovely wife, I'm so sorry, and his journey towards a new life in New Mexico. Dang, I want to go to Roswell. Um, a creamy pale green Crelly filled with pink red Aurora that shifts gold and green. 300 are available. Um, I love this. I'm going to add this to my wish list and just double check that I don't have anything like it. But this is, I, I just, I usually don't even like a minty green, but this shimmer is like killing it. Okay. Okay. DRK Nails, the Supremes, inspired by the Supremes glitter dress. Oh, that's cool. Um, it is a red pinkish base with lots of sparkles, candy aurora microflakes, and red holographic reflective glitter. Um, apparently it's not so easy to capture on cameras, but is really sparkly and it looks like there is no cap and I'm going to pass because red, 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 but this, it reminds me of the like red ruby slippers from Wizard of Oz. So pretty cool. Ethereal Lacquers, Make It Pink, Make It Blue, inspired by Meriwether and Fauna from Sleeping Beauty. You know what? I don't think I've seen Sleeping Beauty. That was just not one of the Disney movies I was fixated on as a kid. This is quite pretty, though. It is a bright and blue base full of Aurora microflakes that shift pink, magenta, orange, gold, green. No cap. And, you know, I need to try Ethereal Lacquer. This is going to go on my wish list, and then we'll review at the end. We'll see. Fair Maiden Polish. That's so fetch. Fair Maiden is becoming like just one of the more prominent brands in my brain space lately. Uh, this is inspired by Mean Girl sidekick Gretchen Wieners. Gretchen, stop trying to make fetch happen. It's not going to happen. So it is a plum black base loaded with magenta orange flake. The polish is magnetic. Um, this is fun. It's not my color for sure. I'm not a magenta person. I don't know why, but this is, it's pretty that goldish color pulling through. 
Femme Fatale Cosmetics, Twirling Towards Freedom, inspired by Kang and Konos from The Simpsons, it is a deep sea teal jelly. Why was that so hard for me to read? With purple, pink, red, green shimmer and pale green reflective glitters, recommended three coats with a glitter suitable top coat as this will dry textured. 250 are available. This is really, uh, the green reflective glitter against that bluish purple looks like fun. Um, I can't see myself reaching for it a ton though, just because of that deeper toned color. It's just not my favorite. So I'm going to pass, but I do love that green pulling through. Girly Bits, Party Time, excellent. Inspired by Garth from Wayne's World. It is a pale blue with gold copper shimmer, hollow flakes, blue flakes, gold micro glitter, gold hollow micro glitter. There are 200 available. I love Wayne's World. I think it's so funny and it's funny because it's like half the cultural ref references have like nothing to do with me. I didn't grow up in that time period. I barely even understand like, you know, a, a good like 30% of the references. I had to look them up as a child, but those movies are just so funny. I don't know what it is. I love Mike Myers too, so that could be why. Oh, that's cute. Glisten and Glow, all oh, Piglet and Pooh friends forever. Oh, it's inspired by Pooh's best friend and sidekick, Piglet. Uh, and beloved for his small stature, kind heart, gentle disposition, love of all things beautiful, and his ability to be brave. My favorite Pooh and Piglet quote, quote is, we'll be friends forever, won't we, Pooh? Asked Piglet. Even longer, Pooh answered, Ugh, I'm going to throw up. It's too cute. I literally... <laughs> We went and saw the Winnie the Pooh movie with um, Ewan McGregor, right? I don't know. I literally cried through the whole thing. I don't know what my problem was. I was like, the nostalgia like hit me too hard and I was like a weepy mess. It is a piglet pink crelly loaded with various sizes, shapes, and shades of pink glitters. Neon pink to darker pink glitter makes this shade perfect for piglet himself. I want to die. It's so cute. Um... Do I? I'm going to put on my wishes. I'm going to think about it because, like, I'm getting too emotional over this stupid nail polish. Oh, I love Winnie the Pooh. I love the classic Winnie the Pooh stuff. It's cute. Graceful nail polish, pretty in pastel, inspired by satin and is it chenille or chanel from Trolls. I've never seen Trolls, but it is a super soft pastel Aurora shimmer that moves through shades of blue and green with a pink flash on certain angles. 150 are available. That's a wild looking polish. This is cool. That's fun. I like this. I like that a lot. There was, I think I put another one that's kind of similar on my wish list. So let me add that and compare them and then decide between the two. Hearts and Promises Side of Ranch. Oh no. Inspired by ranch dressing. Fanatic here will kill me if I don't get this. I, I can just feel her screaming at me right now. Um... A very light green tinted Crelly base with gold, green, copper, UCC flakes, and green shimmer. 300 are available. Uh, you know, there's like this joke or stereotype that white people love ranch dressing. I actually hate ranch <laughs> dressing. I don't know what it is. I, I don't know if I just ate a lot of it with vegetables as a kid. But this looks gross and I love it. We're adding that to the wish list. Oh, this is cute too. Heather's Hughes, It's All Right, Pascal. Inspired by this cute, the cute little sidekick from Tangled. Oh, I forgot about that guy. It's a green jelly with pink to gold shimmer, green to gold iridescent flakes, and pink hollow dust. There is no cap. This is really pretty, but I absolutely have stuff that looks like this. I cannot even begin to just, I bought like four, I have I just filmed like a reel of some of my favorite gross greens and like four of them look like this, so I can't justify it. Hit the bottle polishes, bendless love. This must be another bender. Yeah, another bender polish. Metallic chrome blue stamping polish, 200 are available. I don't typically buy stamping polishes from Polish Pickup. I don't know what it is. It's just like one of those things where I'm not a big, I don't buy stamping polishes frequently because I really just, I have all the colors I really need, I guess she says with the 1600 nail polishes behind her. Um, so I'm going to pass, but I feel like 
I've never seen anybody say anything bad about this this brand's uh, stamping polishes. So, you know, check it out. Indie by Patty Lopez. Take over the world, my friend. Inspired by Pinky and the Brain. Pink, gold, green, multi-chrome magnetic with pink metallic flakies and iridescent flakies. 300 are available. I didn't really watch... Pink I, I did watch Pinky and the Brain as a kid. I just don't remember much of it. Um, I liked ah uh, the smart one brain yeah brain the smart one i liked his voice I, I like that a lot but i don't like this color very much it's it's kind of i can't place it what is that color like not the pink obviously or the purpley is that like a brown or is it like a tan i can't i can't tell so i'm gonna pass Jen and Barry's A Dazzling Display of Logic. Okay, this one is going to be the death of me. This is inspired by Spock from Star Trek TOS. And I'm obsessed with Spock. Like, I'm literally in love with him. When Leonard Nimoy died, I found out while I was driving and I, I had to pull over because I started crying. I was a mess. I was, that was a bad year for me, though, too, so... Could have just been all of the problems I was experiencing. Who knows? Um, but this is a pale ash violet, small particle linear holographic base with scattered gold flakes, black cherry flakes. Ooh, that sounds fun. Holographic flakes and red black micro flakes. 350 are available. I usually would not buy a polish like this. I, I, I had like four people send this to me too. Like that's how I feel like everybody knows I'm a big Spock freak. But I just, it's tempting me because of the inspiration. So I'm going to add it to my wish list, but I, I'm going to try and think really hard and long about if I just want it because of Spock, which is probably the case, or would I wear this color? So we're going to put it on the wish list and let myself think about it. Dior Couture General Okoye. Um, this is inspired by a character from Black Panther. And full disclosure, I don't think I've seen a Marvel movie in the past... 10 to 15 years. So I don't know how to pronounce some of these words, um, but she is one of Wakanda's greatest warriors and she led the female warriors. So that is what this is based on. This is a royal red to brown hollow base with fierce gold reflective glitter, mighty red hollow micro glitter, stunning silver hollow magnetic pigment, and a powerful gold hollow magnetic pigment. It looks like there is no cap. This is kind of like like a office friendly, like nude looking magnetic, which is kind of fun. It's not something that I can see myself wearing, but if you like more like toned down colors, but you still want that like fun magnetic, this is perfect for you. Also, I love the Gior bottles because it's just like, it just looks so clean and I, I don't know. It just, it's very displayable in my opinion. Kathleen and Co. Hit Girl. This is inspired by Hit Girl. It's a black and violet with glowy purple color shifting shimmer. This is just, I like this kind of purple. It's not quite that royal purple. It's like, it's like on the cusp of, but it's still like a little bit bright for me. Um, I like the Kathleen and Co. bottles too. I like this, the perfect squares, how they fit in my drawers, but I have a lot of purples. So I have a lot of this, so I will pass. KB Shimmers, Pump It Up, inspired by Pumpkin Spice. You guys, I hate pumpkin spice. <laughs> I don't like pumpkin flavoring that much. I will, however, down a pumpkin cream cold brew like it's nobody's business, which sucks because I'm lactose intolerant as hell. Um, okay, so this is inspired by PSL, and it is a muted squash colored orange shade with rusty undertones and brighter lighting holographic sparkles bounce off the pumpkin inspired orange tones while lower lighting brings out caramel hues the it does have reflective pigment obviously we can tell um just like psl this shade will not be around forever so if you're looking for the perfect polish to pair with your cozy fall wardrobe this is it uh kb shimmer gets the ad copy down well like they're they're good at having a uh, fun with the little descriptions i like that this is pretty, but as much as I'm always like, man, I want more oranges. I just never want the ones that are offered to me. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm going to pass. Crystal Designs. I'm having sidekicks for dinner inspired by sidekicks chicken pasta. Oh, this is the one that's inspired by like the food thing called sidekicks. I've never, I've never seen those. I don't, 
I don't know if like, I just don't pay attention to them, but uh, they posted a picture of like the food packet on Facebook. I wish they had it here so you could see. It's kind of funny that they did that. Uh, this looks like a Christmas tree, actually. That's cute. I, I do like that. This is like a kitschy Christmas tree. Green base with green, blue, and yellow, pink shifting crystal flakes, teal shimmer, and pink and green micro glitters. And it's only 150 available. Sorry, I just started laughing because I started thinking about the ranch nail polish again. I don't, I'm, I'm losing my mind. This is honestly such a good Christmas polish. Like, I can't unsee that. So, if you want to start shopping for Christmas, I would say get this one. This is perfect for like Christmas tree nails. Lacquer is in the air, Jetsam. Inspired by Flotsam and Jetsam, Ursula's sidekicks from The Little Mermaid. This month we teamed up with Zombie Claw. Oh, so that's cool. Lacquer is in the air and Zombie Claw did like twin polishes. So one did Flotsam and one did Jetsam. This one has a teal base with hollow pigment, purple shimmer, gold flakes, black shreds, and blue to purple shifting flakes. I always love when brands do like pair polishes together. That's just, it just seems like fun. Like what a fun thing to do with friends. <laughs> I don't know. I think this is pretty, but I don't feel like drawn to it in a like I can only pick two, I can only pick three, and this would be in the top. You know, I, I just know myself, and this would get cut immediately, so I'm going to pass. Oh, that's cute. Alicia's hat, lacquer, I like warm hugs. Well, we got another Olaf polish. This is so gentle and pretty and dainty. Inspired by Olaf from Frozen. Olaf didn't deserve something so beautiful. For real, for real. Sorry if you like Olaf. I just got so, like overwhelmed by him i worked in a daycare for like a couple years and kids were just obsessed with olaf and i just couldn't olaf and minions i just couldn't handle it i couldn't cope for a while um he's really not a bad guy i swear it's a lavender based crelly with purple blue shimmer flakies and gray hollow flakies or gray hollow and flakies this is really pretty in like just the most delicate manner but it's even though it says it's a lavender base, it is so light. It just kind of looks like a really, really dirty white, I guess. It just, I'm not a big white wearer, so I'm going to pass. Lemming Lacquer from Sidekick to Mega Witch. Inspired by Willow Rosenberg from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. It is a turquoise jelly with pink to copper to gold to green shimmer with a scattering of gold reflective glitter and holographic sparks. 200 are available. This is pretty, but I think I said this earlier with another similar deeper teal. It's just not one that I wear very often, but this uh, color shift looks really cool. Lily Pad Lacquer, hey, may the best monster win. This is inspired by Monsters, Inc. Um, a vibrant aqua crelly with purple shimmer and pink, purple, blue, white chameleon flakes. 200 are available. This is like the perfect sully color. I, I have a lot of those. I'm always drawn to sully colored nail polishes for some reason. Uh, so I'm going to pass because I have a lot like this, but it's really pretty. Lumen, bigger on the inside, inspired by the TARDIS. The Doctor has had many wonderful companions over the years, but the TARDIS is always there for adventures through space and time. It's a deep navy multichrome with a strong purple to red shimmer and a holographic micro flaky. There are 300 available. Man, the chokehold that Doctor Who had on like 2010 Tumblr is unmatched. Maybe, maybe a little bit matched by like Sherlock and uh, Supernatural, but like, man, that was that was a time to be alive for sure. It's a little too metallic-y for my taste. I can kind of see brush strokes in some of these, so I feel like it might be difficult for me to work with. And it's just, I don't know, I'm not feeling this super deep colors yet. I have a few dark colors that I want to wear for the month, but mostly I'm just like looking for like vibrant, creepy colors. Luna Lab Creations Grogu's Cookies. Inspired by the child stealing and cutely eating the blue cookies. Minty green with blue and violet shift and green to blue iridescent flakies. 125 are available. It's a little too icy for me, but... I do like the the color, like the shimmer running through it. It's pretty. It's just, I don't wear these icier colors right now. Linby Designs, together or not at all. 
This is inspired by Amy and Rory from Doctor Who, who are her two favorite sidekicks. It's a pale sea foam green base filled to the brim with scattered hollow and hollow flakies with pink to orange to gold shifting shimmer. Let's see. It's I like the idea behind it. It's just, again, like a little bit too icy and also just a little too sheer for what I'm looking for in a color like this. So I'm going to pass. MJ Lacquer. Oh no, it's the big one. This is inspired by Sanford and Sons. Um, the countless episodes where Sanford would fake a heart attack while telling his late wife, Elizabeth, oh no, it's the big one. I'm coming to join you, honey. That's funny and sad. Oh, black and green in its cold state to a grayish green in its warm state, loaded with green, gold, copper, color shifting flakes and a hint of aurora shimmer there are 100 available i like the color flip in this uh i think that even though like i prefer really stark color changes uh i feel like the gray to black is pretty good but i don't buy thermals so i will pass mumu signatures i am your patrick you are my spongebob inspired by my favorite all-time animated comedy tv series don't we all love the cute pair spongebob and patrick I swear I can quote just about every Spongebob episode I've ever seen. Like, it is a tinted yellow base filled with tiny white hexes, popsicle pink tiny hexes, gold hollow micro shreds, gold crystal irregular flakes, and pink to orange to green iridescent flakes. 200 are available. It's fun. I like it. But I did buy something kind of similar from Live Love Polish. They had a Spongebob trio and I had to have it. And then I bought another one for my sister just because we both are obsessed with Spongebob. So I'm going to pass. Moonshine Manny, try before you deny. Inspired by the ever chill Argyle from the TV show Stranger Things. It is a vibrant turquoise jelly with a strong gold orange red glow. I said red, yeah, red glow, and packed with hollow flakies, 200 are available. I like this. Hmm. What? Okay, this looks so, like, blue in some of them, and then so green in some of them. I just, like, I get that it's everybody's lighting and the way they take pictures, but it's kind of hard when you have... 10 pictures here and they look like three separate colors, you know? <sighs> I don't, I don't want to buy a, if it's this color, I don't want it. If it's this color, I do. You know what I mean? I don't want to take that risk. So I'm going to pass. MTK Design Sidekicking It. Inspired by this dynamic duo of sidekicks, Tim Drake and Barb Gordon, who each went on to reinvent themselves as heroes in their own right. Oh, and still Moonlight as updated sidekicks again, and even still further become the sidekick couple. Like, that's some deep dive sidekick in it. Blue-black jelly sprinkled with purple-copper-green micro sparkle, a smattering of aqua blue-purple-pink shifting iridescent flakies, and just a tad of electric blue, purple, red, gold, multi-chrome flaky. So there's a lot going on in here. That, like, bluish, the blue-purple kind of flakies look really cool. I just, it looks a little bit textured, which, you know, you can always wear a glitter grabber. It's just not, I, I don't like polishes that are so dark that from a distance you can't really see what's going on in them. So, and I feel like that's just kind of what's going on here. It's like one of those that it's, it may as well be black, you know what I mean? Because it's a blackened base. So I'm going to pass. Music City Beauty Fairy Magic, inspired by Tinkerbell. That is honestly a dead on Tinkerbell color. Um, it is a green jelly base with ghost flakes shifting through blue, green, and purple, gold, shimmer, and subtle holographic. A hundred are available. I never watched Peter Pan because I didn't like the color of the movie. <laughs> when I was a kid, I didn't watch Peter Pan and I didn't watch, um, Robin Hood because I didn't like those like earthier tones and it just didn't appeal to me. I liked really bright, vibrant, colorful stuff. So I never saw this movie and I definitely have some greens like this. So I'll pass. How many have I passed on? I'm doing really good. Nail Artisan Cosmetics, The Real Raven, inspired by Mystique from X-Men. That is really good. Really good on the inspo there. Um, it's a thermal polish that will shift from navy blue when cold to a pale taupe when warm with a generous sprinkling of metallic red, purple, and blue flakies to show off Raven's true form. 100 are available. We'll run through the pictures, but I'm going to pass just because, I, like I said, it's thermal. 
Um, but that's pretty cool. I like it, Matt. That's fun. Nailed it. We're only human. Looks like we have another thermal. Inspired by Nezuko from Demon Slayer, where only human is a sheer milky white to pink thermal with red green crystal flakies. 300 are available. It looks very bubblegum pink. That's fun. But again, it's a thermal, so we gotta say bye. Nails by Virgo Moon. Joxer the Mighty, inspired by Joxer from Xena and Hercules. I have not seen that. And let's see. Soft Sage Metallic Green Gold. This polish also has bronze micro flakies hearkening to his metal breastplate. 100 are available. I am not a huge fan of this like metallic y sage. It reminds me of Mint Money by Hollow Taco a little bit, and I didn't totally love that either. It kind of like gives me like Andy's mints. I don't know. So I'll pass, but that's cool. Native War Paints, Robin Ophelia, inspired by Howard Stern's sidekick, Robin Quivers. Purple with gold, red, violet magnetic flakes and green, orange, purple magnetic pull. This is just not my tone of purple, guys. I've uh, It's like that weird kind of reddish purple, and I'm just not a huge fan. Nevermind Apothecary, is it Dark One? That is a cool magnetic effect. It's inspired by their partner, a rich purple base with a light purple magnetic effect with blue, purple, and green aurora. Purple metallic flakies. 150 are available. Um, I just have so many purples. I don't know. I can't. It's pretty, but it's not like standing out to me super hard. Night Owl Lacquer. Hey, hey, kind of day. This is inspired by Hey, hey from Moana. It's a teal base filled with red, orange, gold shimmer and copper reflective glitter. It's fun, but I think I think I said this about like the other couple teals. It's just, it's going to stain so hard on me. But man, those those bright green, any any reflective glitter that's not silver, I'm like, okay, that's fun. The silver ones, I'm just kind of like, eh, whatever. But the, the ones that aren't silver are a lot more fun. Noodles Nail Polish, Hey Girl Hey, again, inspired by Hey Hey. And it is a dark turquoise curly with metallic and hollow orange glitters with a touch of hollow turquoise glitters. Dries texture due to the glitters. Yeah. This one looks really pretty together. This is definitely fall vibes, and I think it's gonna stain really bad. Um, I like it. I think I think I like it most. Do I like it glossy or do I like it matte? Hmm. Let's see. I think I like it glossy more, but it does look cool, matte. Polish Batgirl, inspired by Batgirl, sheer violet with bright golden copper shimmer. It is like really pink in these and then we get it kind of more purple leaning. It looks like this is a super shifty polish, um, but it is a little bit like that washed out sheer tone. So I'm going to pass. Ooh, paint it pretty polish. 10,000 years will give you such a crick in the neck. Inspired by the genie. Navy blue jelly with shifting flakes in aqua teal blue and purple will make your wishes come true. 250 are available. This is really cool. I have like blue loaded flakies, but not in this particular tone. However, I'm wondering, do I need it? I don't think so. Painted Polish, The Witch is Back. This is from Hocus Pocus. It's a dark vampy jelly base with a champagne mix of gold and silver reflective glitters, pink galaxy holographic toppers, and micro holographic flakies. No cap. This looks cool, Matt. I really like painted polish. I have got a couple from them and they're really nice, but it just, I can't do a red. I can't do it. I got to pass another red <laughs> paradox polish chewy. Um, and then the noise that chewy makes, I'm not going to do that noise. I'm not going to do it. Chewbacca is the best sidekick. I love his amazing aquamarine eyes, darkened cranberry, red and blue iridescent flakes, gold and hollow flake and aquamarine glitters. Let's see. Yeah, it's just that magenta-y tone. But the purple glitters in it are fun. But it's just not my vibe. Penelope Luz, toss a coin to your witcher. I feel like there's a lot, a lot, a lot of nail polishes named toss a coin to your witcher. I've never seen the witcher. I know it was like super popular. I think it's fantasy, right? I'm not a huge fantasy person aside from like Lord of the Rings and just the movies. I won't read the books. I can't get into them. But... 
it seems like it's a very popular series. Pink magnetic with vibrant blue base and a little gold, or a little hollow gold glitter. This is pretty cool. I I do like that, but it looks. Hmm. I'm gonna think about it because I do like this magnetic. Ooh, I like that. Phoenix, my friend before I even knew, but my friend before I even know what a friend was, inspired by Little Hippie, the Little Mermaid. Yellow neon jelly base with orange to green aurora shimmer and blue reflective glitter. There are 600 available. I bought one called neon from the like elements one they did and it didn't have these like little black flecks running through it but it is kind of that similar tone of yellow with a shimmer so even though i really am tempted i'm gonna pass pinnacle polish i made a promise mr frodo okay love that um inspired by samwise gamgee who is a fave an earthy teal leaning green base with fine holographic shimmer, orange gold green shifting aurora shimmer, and small silver holographic glitter. There are 150 available. I, like I just said, I don't love fantasy that much, but I love, love the Lord of the Rings movies. I feel like fantasy, just a lot of the names just overwhelm me and I'm like, I can't follow who is who, but I loved Lord of the Rings so much. And I loved Samwise Gamgee, and I love Elijah Wood a lot, so this is very pretty. I'm gonna think about it. Oh my gosh, what is this? Poetry Cowgirl Nail Polish Wonder. I It's inspired by Robin from the Batman and Robin original 1960s TV show. Okay, this does give like that kind of nostalgia look, right? And then it's a gold flaky base loaded with emerald and red glitter shreds and black micro glitters so this reminds me of two distinct things it it's giving like vintage christmas right like my grandma had a lot of these kind of like gold and like foily green and red christmas decorations but it also and i mean this in the kindest way this is not an insult even though i think a lot of people will feel like it is it reminds me of opi's pineapples have peelings too if it were executed well like i don't know it just it, it has that kind of a vibe to it i don't know if it's just because it's like the gold is like foiled and metallic but this is fun i think i kind of i'm feeling it polish for days friend like me so this is definitely a genie one a blurple base with blue purple shifting shimmer and hollow flakes it's a nice blue, it's a pretty blue, but I just am not, oh, I like it in this picture. I'm not especially drawn to it right now. Pretty Beautiful Unlimited Emmy. This, I love their logo, I don't know what it is. Their logo, it just gets me every time. Inspired by my cat. <laughs> a clear base with black and gold reflective glitter, gold to bronze UCC flakes, black glitter, and a mix of three crystal chameleon flakies. So this is kind of a glitter bomb. This is fun. It does. It also kind of has that vintagey feel. But I, out of this and the other one that I was just looking at earlier, I think I like the other one more. Psych Minerals Guilty Spark, inspired by Guilty Spark from Halo. It's a dark base jelly multi-chrome that shifts between blue to violet purple. There are 150 available. I have a blue multi-chrome. And I only need the one blue. I'm just not a big blue multi-chrome person. At least not like these darker ones. I feel like the, the multi-chrome shift isn't drastic enough for me. So I'm going to pass. Red-Eyed Lacquer, The Alchemist. This is inspired by, looks like a maker from Alchemy Lacquers. The purple Crelly with red, pink, gold shifting shimmer and a hollow flaky bomb. It is 200 cap. And it's just icier for me. I'm not going to get this one. Um... It's just whatever those like silver micro flakes are. I just am not usually a huge fan of them in polish because I just personally don't care for the look. Red Panda Lacquer Salem Saberhagen. Um, oh, it's a Sabrina the Teenage Witch. It's a black to red multi-chrome with a strong red gold shimmer. The polish will be in their original 15 milliliter bottle, not shown in pictures. 105 are available. I have two black to red multi-chromes. I don't... I definitely don't think I need any more, so I will pass. Restored by Polish, Better Together, inspired by their sidekick Krista. Um, let's see. 
It's a pink leaning coral packed with an array of color shifting iridescent flakies, opaque in two to three coats, depending on your nail length, a hundred are available. This is kind of a banger of a color. I like this. Um, I like this kind of, what is it? Flip flop fantasy type pink with the flakies in it though. That makes it even better. Let's add it to the wish list. Let's think about it. Rogue Lacquer, entirely bonkers. It's uh, inspired by Alice in Wonderland, and it is a gold to blue color shifting shimmer, hollow, loaded with hollow flakies. Just a fun green. Um, I don't think that I'm gunning for these types of greens right now. I like the yucky greens the most, so I'm going to pass. Saki Cosmetics Tigris, inspired by my cat Tigris. It is a medium gray polish with strong peachy shimmer. A hundred are available. I feel like this is just, I like a more obnoxious color, especially from Polish Pickup. Uh, and it is a little bit more, I can kind of see those streakier brush strokes. So I'm going to pass. Sassy Cat's Lacquer, Respect the Suit, inspired by Buzz Lightyear, Woody's sidekick from Toy Story. I'm glad that Buzz is the sidekick and Woody is the, the prominent one because Woody's my favorite. Um, a gray Crelly with purple and blue metallic flakes plus iridescent flakies shifting blue, green, and purple. A hundred are available. I don't look at this and think like, oh, Buzz Lightyear, unfortunately, it's not my... But I, I guess Buzz isn't really my favorite either. I just prefer Woody. I like the cowboy aesthetic more. Um, so I'm going to pass. Sassy Sauce Polish. Two snaps. Inspired by a photo of, of the thing from Adam's family in a holiday tree. It is a gray base. Crelly loaded with strong green, blue, pink, purple shifting shimmer and similar shifting UCC flakies. This polish has many faces in different lights. Named by Mary Sandberg. 500 are available. So yeah, you can see they what they mean by there's many faces to this polish. I have a lot of super shifty polishes like this. Um, and for me, they just tend to kind of bleed together in my mind. So I'm going to pass. But I do like Sassy Sauce. Stella Chroma Waxing and Waning. Inspired by the sidekick we all share, the moon. It is a shining silver holographic polish with metallic blue and turquoise flakies. It's subtle and blingy at the same time, opaque in two to three coats. This is just not my jam. It's kind of like frosty, not frosty, uh, metallic-y, and I'm just not feeling metallics right now. We have Swamp Gloss So Fetch, and this is inspired by the Mean Girls Inappropriate Talent Show Dance. It's a red to gold multi-chrome with iridescent flakies and matte hexes. 300 are available. Um, there's only one picture and it is a little bit blurry and I like Swamp Gloss, so I'm hoping they add more photos because I feel like this isn't enough, you know, to, to make a decision. Sweet and Sour Lacquer, everyone needs a sidekick, inspired by the T-Mobile sidekick. Dude, I wanted one of these so bad when they came out, but I was so young, like I had no use for a cell phone, but they were just cool. Everyone Needs a Sidekick is a blackened plum base with black flakes, pink metallic flakes, purple and gold reflective glitter. 250 are available. This plummy purple is just not for me, so I'm going to pass, but I still really want a sidekick. Sweetheart Polish, I'm Not a Guppy, inspired by Flounder from The Little Mermaid. It is a bright yellow shimmer with blue metallic shreds and hollow micro shreds. 150 are available. I just, I, my, this is so like my problem, but every time I see a anything that's blue and yellow, I immediately think of U of M, which is like one of our college football teams in Michigan. If you didn't know that, I don't know why anybody needs to know that. Um, and I'm not a sports person and I used to live near U of M and game days were the worst. And so I've just grown to hate football in general. <laughs> so I'm going to pass. Treo Lacquer Forever Rose. This is, oh, it's based on Doctor Who. It's a burgundy jelly base with uh, reflective silver glitter and iridescent glitter that flashes gold, orange, and red. 160 are available. I like how they did this picture where it's like the hand is in the same pose, but half of it is reflective and half of it is under normal light. It's not my color, so I'm not going to get it, but I do respect the photography. 
TSS Nails North Star, inspired by Little Dipper. Everyone knows the Big Dipper, but did you know it has a sidekick named the Little Dipper? That's kind of funny. Um, it is, let's see. It just says it's their signature shimmer. It's 100 are available. This is very streaky, and I don't want polishes like that too often or really ever. So we'll see what else they put out in the future, but this is going to be a pass for me this time. Oh, this is fun. Twisting Nether Lacquer Zero. Okay. Is this inspired by Zero from... Yeah, yeah. Inspired by Zero from um, Nightmare Before Christmas. That's fun. This is like a cute polish. It reminds me of Cookies and Cream. It is a white curly with black flake, black to red UCC flakes, and red to orange shimmer. I am not going to buy this because it is a white base and I know I won't pick it up, but it is fun and I do like it. What Addiction The Architect. It is inspired by Jerry Seinfeld's sidekick, George Costanza from Seinfeld. My little brother's obsessed with George Costanza. Um, it's a deep camo green base with a variety of UCC flakes, Aurora Shimmer, and a touch of hollow. 150 are available. I like the color. It's my perfect level of disgusting. We're going to add that. We're going to add that to the wish list. We only got a few more. Watcha, True Love. This is fun. It is inspired by Anna from Frozen. I almost said Anna. This is inspired by Anna. Magenta Violet Base with Orange Shimmer. 300 are available. It is very pretty. But I can't see this beating out some of the other ones in my wish list, so I'm not even going to add it. Wildflower Lacquers Angel. This is inspired by their dog Scarlet, who recently passed away. It is a dark apricot base with pink to gold shifting shimmer. A dollar of every bottle sold will go to Free to Live OK, a cat and dog sanctuary in OKC. Is that like Oklahoma? Oklahoma City? in her honor. That's sweet. Um, this is a really interesting polish. I feel like I don't see this tone very much. I'm not a big apricot tone wearer, so maybe I'm just not looking hard. Uh, it's not for me, but if this is a color you love, it does have kind of a charity aspect to it that is nice, so keep that in mind. I like this. Zombie Claw, we got her boys, Flotsam. This is the pair to um, lacquer in the air. This looks like relish. <laughs> it looks like relish to me. Um, maybe I should get this relish looking polish in the ranch one and call it good, huh? Loving it. All right. It is a clover green with metallic gold flakes and black flakies. I'm adding that to the wish list. It is a 200 are available. So that's Fun. And that's all the polishes. There was two things I just wanted to look at really quick from the other stuff. They have uh, Ribbit Stickets, words from the comics. So if you're into water slide decals, these are really fun. These are very cutesy, like comic book um, water slide decals. And water slide decals are so easy to use. Like there is really no learning curve, in my opinion. If As long as you remember to take the plastic off of the thing, which I always forget to do. Um, these are cool. And then what was the other thing? It was a stamping plate by Lantern and Wren. And I just really liked this weird zombie alphabet. So I thought that was cute. So if you guys are interested in that. So let's see what is the damage here? What is on the wish list? Oh, I thought I did way better than this, you guys. Why is this on here? I didn't add this. Okay, let's see. Um, six, 12... 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17. I feel like that's low for me. That's low. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to think long and hard about maybe I just want these two. Maybe. I'm kind of feeling these two and that one. Yeah, three. I think I want those three, but we'll see what I actually decide. It's going to take me all week to narrow this down. So let me know down below what you guys are wishlisting, what you're thinking of picking up, or if you're skipping this month for whatever reason. Me in particular, I didn't like the theme too much this week or this week, this month, because I'm just not a big, like, it, it evoked like superheroes to me and it, um, uh, I'm not a big superheroes person, but I liked the the unusual spins that people put on it. So that was fun. So yeah, let me know what you guys thought and I will see you in the next one. Bye.